Hey everybody, it's Flashback Friday. It is Flashback Friday and we have so much to talk about this week in Bonita Springs. Mostly just about the city of Bonita Springs and what's coming up over the next few weeks. And the first thing I wanted to show you is the City of Bonita Springs website. And it's simple, cityofbonitasprings.org. You can go to the website and the first thing you're going to be met with is a pop-up so that you can sign up to get a newsletter. And the newsletter is going to tell you all of the things that are going on around Bonita Springs, most especially with regard to downtown Bonita Springs. So if you are a lifelong person who's been here for forever or you're new to the area, you may have differing, differing opinions, but downtown of Bonita Springs, the city does own some land uh, on either side of the river. And there was a meeting last Tuesday evening about developing that. And there are a few things. And I took some screenshots and I had to overexpose them to get them to show up so that you would be able to see them. But um, it's just talking about the area, layout of green spaces, access to the river, in addition to, um, they it, they did a word cloud where people logged in on their phones and gave their opinions on what to do, uh, what would be of interest for them to have at the at this location. So this one says it most important was river access, pedestrian walkways, landscaping, public gathering spots, and lighting. Um, also, this is an example of some of the questions whether or not folks would like you know, recreational sports stuff there or just passive things like places to stand, sit, splash pads for children, water features, etc. cetera. Um, then they had an open comment section. So some of these comments, and I know they're hard to read, but I was way far back in the room. Um, this is what they had to offer uh, from the consumers as suggestions. Um, there will be another meeting. Uh, you can sign up for it on the City of Bonita Springs uh, website. Uh, going forward, it's Veterans Day uh, next week. So we picked up Florence here, my favorite 97-year-old World War II veteran. We took her to see a Salute to Veterans program and this keynote speaker. It was a great time. She's a little honey badger. Um, and one of the things that I also th thought I'd let you know that the traveling Vietnam Memorial Wall is going to be in town. So if you'd like to see that, um, you can message me if you need this flyer or if you'd like to share this flyer, but it is at the Naples Church. So just look up the Naples Church. For more information, go to NaplesChurch.com. Um, also, if you didn't know, there is a uh, half-size replica Vietnam Wall in Punta Gorda, right beside Lashley Crab House at the Lashley Park. Uh, last but not least, of course, you know, there's going to be Veterans Day events everywhere all over uh, Southwest Florida. They're always at 11 o'clock, 11, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month is how Veterans Day gets laid out for anyone who may not know that. Um, this year, uh, we also have a book signing. We've donated books uh, to uh, as a fundraiser on Veterans Day. So between 3 and 6 p.m. at the restaurant called Dorona in Naples, we will do uh, be doing book signings, myself and Jerry, uh, for our book. It started with the helmet. Uh, <laughs> so if you'd like to uh, meet Jerry in person or you'd like to uh, contribute by purchasing a book at a discount, of course, um, or come down and have a cocktail, proceeds from uh, the happy hour also go to this veterans organization. We would love to meet you in person and like we always say, see our friends outside of the computer for a change. Um, and that's about it. Uh, if the, you have any questions about what's going on in the area, feel free to let me know. And if you have any real estate questions, uh, be, be more than happy to talk with you about that. Have a great weekend, folks.